Uh, I want to remind everybody to click that subscribe down there if you haven't subscribed. And hit that little bell for any future notifications. You don't want to miss out on anything. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, Omnit Practical Technology signs a new deal with Can't remember what happened. Hey, where am I? What the heck is this place? Everything seems so big. Whoa, or am I really, really small? Hello, 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 and welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. We are finally playing the 1.0 version of Grounded. Oh, I have been waiting so long for this. I have been playing this since before the pond base was updated. There was no pond base when I first started playing. It was just an empty pond. But, um, I know there's people that's been playing it a lot longer than me, but man, this is one well put together game. And I am looking forward to getting started in here. And uh, I'm bringing y'all along with me. So, to get started, I am going to play by myself for maybe one or two or three episodes. And occasionally maybe have some people join me. I do know some people that's been wanting to get in here with me. But we'll see if we can get all our schedules this to mesh up. getting real. You got this, Hoops. I discovered a baseball. Anyhow, so to start this episode off, I'm going to go and start gathering some resources and um, analyze some stuff. What was that? Whoa. What was that? Some sort of signal? Maybe it's coming from nearby. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's head over to the mysterious machine. Grab ourselves some 
Munchies. We need so much of this plant fiber. And sprigs. Alright, we're going to need a couple more stones also. So that we can make some tools. And why some stuff. I'm guessing this isn't the only one of these science pods. I should keep searching and see what else I can turn up. Ooh, our first 30 points. So it's going to take a little bit to get going. I'm not going to try to do any pie or any um, burgle chip missions or anything today. I mainly just kind of want to look around, explore some areas, and um, get get our base started up here. All right, so what can we craft here? We're going to need... That's all the weapons we have. We need some thistle needles. Alright, so I'm gonna go get what I need. That's a quick little fella. <laughs> kind of cute, too. I'm surprised it didn't give me an axe or... The... The, um, axe or the hammer. Or even the, the spear. Is that a basketball court? Where? Where? Where's the basketball court? Wow, this thing is making noise. That's... That's new. <laughs> Ooh, light show! Yeah, see, we need uh, to chop down work. that tree. Looks but. like one laser is blocked and the other is shorted out. Time to get fixing. But I can't do nothing. Oh, because I was holding it in my hand, I didn't see it. There we go. I leveled up even. Ooh. We'll have to make ourselves some armor here. Alright, so now we can make the pebble hammer. We need crude rope. Craft many of them. Alright. Craft. Ooh, we need one more pebble. I see it. Alright, so we got a pebble. We need some, um, some spikes. So let's go back over to the mysterious machine. I Whoa, think I know how to find in? spikes from there. So I saw Prime Manus and Moths were added. That's very exciting. And because the animals tend to um, terrorize your base nowadays, you need to find a good place to put that base where the animals really can't get to it. So, I like to build off of this leaf right here because most of the crawly things won't come up here and a lot of the jumpy things like the spiders can't jump up this high. The only thing I have to worry about is mosquitoes, bees, and lightning bugs, things that fly. But um, yeah, so let's get this here thing going. I want to make myself a clover armor. There it is. And that will give us... 
Um, uh, makes us fuller. I guess we don't have to worry about food so much. Um, let me get my axe. There we go. And we'll chop down a couple of these clovers. That way we can start our base. Do the nap buzz. Nice. And let's try clovers. Ooh, I don't know which one. Let's do that one. Oh, we already we did it? Oh, we're out of juice. Oh. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now I can make me some armor, even though it's only the clover. But at least we'd be wearing something. Safety first. How do I look? I like it. Uh oh, I'm hungry. So we need to find some water too. That water up ahead. Oh yes. We got a couple waters here. Hydration is the key to performance. Stay away from my water. Alright. Feeling good now. So if we was to go over here and chop this down. And that opened up that laser. Now we need to go over here and kill some lawn mites. And we'll get that power going. We'll make sure they're not following me in here. And we got one more back here. If you guys could see in the dark, but I'm blocking them. There we go. And 
And then we need the hammer for that. Can we bust through there? Some nice rocks. Ah, first scabby. Additional flavor scheme available. Oh well, we know where there's a sturdy marble at. Whatever's rumbling down there, I'm gonna stomp on it. So our scabby, let's see, since it's our first one. Uh, Mint Rider. Yeah, I, okay, we'll ride it for a while, see how that goes. Did I leave? Alright, I got everybody. Alright, let's head back to my so-called base. Alright, so we got all three lasers operating in their normal parameters. Let's see if this scene's changed any. Explosion machine. Huh. Alright, so now we have a burgle unlocked. Ants coming through. Wants me to crap a torch. really good there we go we've crafted torch I discovered a torch all right Whew. I'm beat let's find someplace safe and catch some Z's catch some Z's it's not nighttime yet I don't want to build a lean-to till I can build my floor. Alright, I guess we need to go see Burgle. Investigate the oak tree. Craft a fiber bandage. Might have to turn those off. All right, so, um, yeah, we're going to go over here. We're going to see Burgo and see what's new over there. Check that out. I can hear a ladybug. There he is. That ladybug would be a menace boxing out in the paint. Huh. Alright, we're pretty close over here to Burgle. We gotta get ourselves a dandelion cup. Alright, let's see what's different in here. Everything that's not on a level no more. That's interesting. Uh, 
does does look a little bit different. That glowy thing looks like some real nerd stuff. All right, here we go. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. <laughs> Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. What is this? I'm powered. Take advantage of these scanning stations when you can. And what should we go for next? The meat? Some sap. So I've seen the cameras before, but they used to rotate. It'd be cool if we could rotate them ourselves. Yeah, they're rotating. Black. Oh, they're named this time. Black Ant Hill. Nice. Hedge. Hostile presence detected. What's after the hedge? I want to see one of the new ones. There's the pond base. Battery backup failure. The haze. Air contamination critical. We got the fungus growing over there. And back to the black ant hill. Security lockdown in effect. Non-organism, blah, 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 pre-test notes after successfully miniaturizing a single complex electric device, test for whatever will attempt to shrink one full box of the device, results, failure, miniaturization successful, but embiggening and further testing is impossible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Box obliterated. Miniature scabby are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. That kind of explains why there's scabbies all over the place, I guess. Unauthorized access. Virgil! Oh, he's moving! Look at him. Go on, lift your arm again. I have fallen, and I am not appropriately shaped for getting up on my own. Now, it used to be a burgle chip sat right here, your very first one, but that's not here no more. It's not as bad as it looks. Give me a second. System reboot in progress. Thanks for the helping hand! I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot! Oh, uh, no way! I'm sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I 
I'm sure this all must be very disorienting for you. But hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. Hmm. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my c corrupted memory banks. Ha. Huh. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Alright, so how do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! I don't know if I like... The, the changes in the way he talks. I kind of liked his first accent. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Yeah, see, expected. I didn't like, I don't, I don't, he didn't do that before. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. There are other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries! The <laughs> lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too! But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> what? That reminds me. Dr.
Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL Network of Computers 2. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. All right. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ships and try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day. Where's he going? Look, he's moving around the base. Science is out of control. Is he going to do something? Oh, look at this good stuff. Yeah, we'll take all of you. Fine. Alright, let's check this thing out. Looking for grass half floors, grass floors. So I need how much for this? A thousand. I got 970. So we need to find a couple more science points before we can even build my floor. Now where did I leave that? And then we got Burgle Quest. Explore, explore. I can really use some good good feeling right about now. Except. Accepted. Accepted, accepted. Available. Accept. All right. So we are 30 points short of getting my floors. That'd been awesome if I could pick that cup up. Remember that stupid little puzzle you had to do to unlock the door and then those two task spots would come out after you? Oh, it's dark out now. So do I have enough to build me a lean-to now? Oh, yes I do. I put it here on this rock. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, check it out. So because I placed it here on the burnt, my bed's actually burnt. That's so cool looking. My bed's on fire. Let's go to sleep for eight hours. See how bad our hunger and thirst is when we wake up. Ouch! Wow, you took all my food out. Alright, so where did that little computer thing go? There it is. Alright, I want that. Now we're down to 70. But at least... Now we can build floors. Alright, so I'm gonna get something to drink. And, um... Head back to the mysterious machine. What happened?
happened to all this? Didn't I have those all nicely stacked up? Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna go... I'll go out that way. And that starts our pace. Oh, come on. I hit the E first. Then I hit the next one because I thought I was not looking. Grass planks. Why won't you let me build? Oh, because we have to build this first one. I see how that works. Alright, we almost got our little sanctuary up here built. I expanded it a little bit. Just got two more squares to fulfill. Inventory's full. I need to get the ant armor so that I can um, carry more. There we go. Now let's grab our stuff. Say we'll put you over here. Good spot for you. The beginnings of our castle. Now, actually, I want to put my base up around the tree like I had before. Oh, it's going to seem weird starting all over again. One, two, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so now we got sanctuary. I need one of those. Timber! Oh, yep, I need that. Need that. That way we can glide when we fall and we won't take such a hard landing. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you, my friend. There we go. Now we got some structure in this game. What else can we... Mushroom slurry. Stuff we can't make yet. Thin pallets, plank pallets. Okay, that I could probably use. Because you can load them up on the ground and then take the whole pallet up. With the move command. Get out of here. Let's do the move command. Now you can see I have a whole pile of grass. I didn't have to carry it up four or five at a time. And then I empty it out and I take the same back down with me. 
How's that for ingenuity? All right, so we need to go to bed. I have to wait until 2127. Can't go to sleep too early, I guess. All right, well, I'm going to go to sleep and then we'll see what happens here. I like how it gives you different views of the yard each time it does that. And our aphid is still defying gravity here. Why are you doing that? Are you doing it too? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with these aphids? Up! I'll make slippers out of you. What's the matter with you? Do I need the crafting bench for that? Oh, I need to analyze them first. So the aphid slippers will help you run faster in the yard. That's always good when you're trying to get from one side to the other. You only need the knee guards, the shins, when you're in battle to help protect you from this or that. Alright, let's see what happens when we analyze the aphid. We should get aphid slippers. There we go. Stuff aphid and aphid slippers. And brain power. Oh, nice. Okay. Analyze everything. Well, I got so much brain power for that, though. Yeah, we got the red ant hammer. That's our next um, armor. But truly, what we really need to get started is the acorn armor. That's going to give us the best protection. But, um, yeah, we got to upgrade our armors also. So, I need to build me some aphid slippers here. Mite fuzz. I got nine. I need to kill a mite. I need a workbench for this. Alright, there's my workbench. Aphid slippers. The pair of slippers made from slippery aphid meat, not very effective defensively, but makes you run like the dickens. Those are nice to have. Armor protection, engage! Disengaged. All right, so we got started here. I am super excited to really dig into this yard. But I think I'm going to spend some time off camera actually using my mods to fly around the yard and see what's all new. I want to find that prime mantis. And I want to find the mobs and see what they look like. But as for my recordings, we're going to stick with the story and we're going to follow it to the T. So, um... Our next mission is the is the berry bush, the hedge um, base mission. Jeez, I couldn't spit it out. But yeah, so I need to prepare for that. There's spiders and all kinds of icky stuff over there. So um, I think we just need to get some acorn, get that armor built up. So I think what I'm going to do is off camera, grind out the acorns and everything. Throw down some storages here. Can I craft storage? Uh, not until I analyze the acorns. Alright, look at that. I went into photo mode. The photo mode lets you free fly, but you won't get very far. 
And I'm not sure if it'll show you science that's up on top of stuff. But it freezes everything so you can take a picture. But yeah, this is our little starter. We're going to build from here. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are excited to see. Um, anything that I should be on the lookout for. Any good tips. And of course, click that like button. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next turn. One, two, three.